Hello and welcome to our monthly catch up with Sean Burns, a portfolio manager for the Switzerland Dividend Growth Fund. Hi Sean. Hi Peter. How are you? So how did the fund go perform over the month? Over September, Switzer Dividend Growth Fund was quite strong, so almost three percent. Mm. So that's a, that's a pretty good um, effort against the against the market, and also the contributors were quite broad. Mm. So again, so that's a good thing that we have lots of contributors, not just one stock or a couple of stocks. Um, so uh, so that was a pretty good result. Mm. So when you say three percent, just to explain it to to my viewers, what does that mean? That means the value of the portfolio has gone up three percent. Over the over the month, mm. with Switzer being an ETF, it's valued each day. So you'll see that reflected in the in the share price each day on mm. the mark to market. Does it reflect what the distribution might end up being? It it depends. The distribution comes from what dividends actually paid mm. um, during that period. So that moves around around yeah. a little bit. Yeah, you know, depending on how that goes, and then at the end of the year, any realised gains get paid out in 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 one lump at the end of the year. Yeah. Um, so, can you talk about any recent addition you've put in the fund? We, we the marks have been quite strong over the last couple of months, so uh, we're skewing the portfolio to get a bit more defensive. Uh, you know, just getting ready in case things get a little bit tougher between now, or we get a bit of volatility. Yeah. So we've added to things like uh, Aurora. Uh, Tabcorp and Transurban. Mm. The, the interesting thing about Transurban, I think, over the, that's helping them, is when you look at it, their revenue line is run off the CPI, mm. which is kept fairly resilient at t- two or three percent, but its its cost line is basically interest rates, and they've yeah. been going down. Okay. So you've actually so negative interest rates is actually pretty powerful for them. Their costs are going down, and their revenue lines going. Yeah. Okay, so that spread is, is helping them. So that's, uh, that's a fairly solid story in if, if things get tough. Mm. Have you been surprised how reactive Switz is to the overall stock market? Because we're not a capital, even though we go mm. for a bit of capital growth, we're mainly a dividend chaser, but sometimes on some days we seem to even yeah. react worse than the actual overall market. Does that surprise you sometimes? I, I, th- I think I've given up on day-to-day trying to yeah. analyse. I mean, this market has been a bit funny. I mean, it has been like that for quite a while. Yeah. Trying to rationalise daily moves will yeah. drive you crazy, I found. So over, uh, over the month, I think that starts to give you a few weeks, give you a pretty good read. Yeah. Um, daily times, uh, daily movements, I think, can be a bit funny. So I sort yeah. of try and ignore those, though, unless they're really uh, funny. <laughs> but I think that, you know, over the, over, it sorts itself out over a month or so. Yeah, I've noticed that too, but on a day-to-day yeah. basis, it can sometimes <laughs> confuse me. What's the outlook for the portfolio, do you think? I think that uh, feeling you know, what's happening over there with the trade tensions, etc., impacting the real world, ISM numbers falling away, um, so that's a leading indicator of economic activity falling away in the States. Um, how that impacts US earnings will impact the stock market. So. It, all those things have to be watched. So we're being cautious. We're trying to put as much as we can sensibly into defensive type stocks yeah. that will hold their value if the market falls. That's the that's the uh, the strategy there. Mm. So um, yeah. So we're planning for a bit of volatility over the over the next few months and see how that goes. Mm. We're still you know relatively fully invested. Great. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Peter. That's Sean Burns, who's the portfolio manager of the Switzer Dividend Growth Fund.